if there is something that heaven is waiting for, is the voice of a man in prayers. If there is something that heaven is waiting for, is the voice of a man in prayer. He says, walk as if you were to live a hundred years and pray as if you were to die tomorrow, Benjamin Franklin. Everything starts with our words in prayer. Everything that we expect God to do, we must ask in prayer. It says, Thou art my battle ass and weapons of war, for with thee I will break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. Jeremiah chapter 51. And verse 20, thou art my battle ass and my weapons of war. For with thee, I will break in pieces. God is waiting for a man that will call upon him in prayer. And with God, he will break in pieces the nations. And with God, will destroy evil kingdoms. Jeremiah 51 and verse 20. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. Jeremiah chapter 1 from verse 9. See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down and to build and to plant. Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 10. See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out, to pull down, to destroy, to throw down, to build, and to plant. Come on, say with me, I am God's battle ass. I am God's weapon of war. I'm a moving danger, bulldozer. I have a mouth. I cannot be silent. God's words are in my mouth. I'm above and I set above the nations and above the kingdoms. My prayers are dangerous and fully operational. I can decide to root out. I can decide to pull down. I can decide to destroy. I can decide to throw down. I can decide to build. And I can decide to plant. I'm a wonder in my nation, in my generation. I'm a wonder in this kingdom. Everywhere I turn, I'm a wonder. I've said to us, if there is somebody to pray on this earth, there is a God to answer. If there is someone to pray, there is a God to answer. Everything starts with our words in prayer. We are looking at prevailing prayer dimensions. Prevailing prayer dimensions. Everything that we ever expect God to do, we must ask him in prayer. Hezekiah prays for healing. And he was healed. In Isaiah 38, from verse 1, we read, And in those days was Hezekiah sick unto death. And Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, came unto him and said unto him, Thus the other Lord set thine house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. Verse 2, Then Hezekiah turned his face toward the world and prayed unto the Lord. And said, Remember now, O Lord, I beseech thee how I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart, and have done that which is good in thy sight. And Hezekiah wept sore. Then came the word of the Lord to Isaiah, saying, Go and say to Hezekiah, Thus saith the Lord, the God of David thy father, I have heard thy prayer. I have seen thy tears. Behold, I will add unto thy days fifteen years. Isaiah chapter 38 from verse 1 to 5. 
So the Lord God of David, thy father, have heard thy prayer. If Hezekiah didn't pray, he would have died. Because he called upon God. God added to his years. Fifteen additional years. Everything that ever happens in our lives could be altered by prayer. Things can fall in place for us when we call upon the name of the Lord. Hezekiah brought strong reasons through his words to God in the courtroom of prayer. It's only through prayer that we can bring our strong reasons to our Heavenly Father. It's in the place of prayer that we produce our cause, said the Lord. Bring forth your strong reasons. Isaiah 41 and verse 21. In Acts chapter 12, we read about the church. The church prayed for Peter. And he was delivered from prison and death. If they did not pray, he would have been killed also by Herod, like Herod killed James. In verse 2 of Acts chapter 12, Herod had killed James, the brother of John, with a sword. And in verse 3, the Jews were happy. So he takes Peter and puts Peter in prison. Peter was to die next in line. And the Bible says in Acts chapter 12 and verse 5b, but prayer was made without ceasing. But prayer was made without ceasing of the church for Peter. What do you think they prayed? They declared, they simply said, Lord, deliver Peter out of the hand of Herod. Deliver Peter out of the hand of Herod. God answered by sending his angel to deliver him. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. What did the church pray? They prayed, if Herod will not give us peace, Father, send destruction upon him and let the worms eat, eat him up. Did the worms eat him up? Yes. Hallelujah. That is how effective prayer can be. Prayer is the link between man and the things that God has desired for him to accomplish or to do on the earth. God shapes the world by prayer. The more praying there is in the world, the better the world will be, the mightier the forces against evil, E.M. Bonds. It is possible to move men through God by prayer alone. It is possible to move God, to move men through God by prayer alone. Hallelujah. If they had not prayed in Acts chapter 12, God wouldn't have done anything. Prayer is a license that we have to impact this earth of the nature of the things that are in heaven. He says, call upon me in the day of trouble, and I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me. Psalms 91 and verse 15, Psalms 50 and verse 15. There are certain situations and circumstances that may arise around us every so often that God expects us to call upon him. When the situation arises, once we call upon him, there is an answer. 
Because God is not the author of confusion and disorder. God says, call upon me in the seasons of disorders. Call upon me in the day of trouble and I will answer you. There has never been a spiritual awakening in any country or locality that did not begin in united prayer. Prayer is key. Elijah prayed that fire come down from heaven and consume the captains of 50 and their 50s of King Ahaziah where he went to seek other gods. 2 Kings chapter 1 and verse 10 to 12. And Elijah answered and said to the captain of 50, If I be a man of God, then let fire come down from heaven and consume thee and thy 50. And there came down fire from heaven and consumed him and his 50. In 1 Kings 18, 24, and 38, And call ye on the name of your gods, and I will call on the name of the Lord. And the God that answered by fire, let him be the God. If we can call upon the name of the Lord, then God will answer from the heavens. God will answer from his operational room. Then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the bone sacrifices and the wood and the stones and the dust. See, God is answering Elijah's prayer. And the dust and licked up the water that was in the trench. Only through the force of prayer that fire can link up water <laughs> Only through the strength of prayer that fire can lick up water. In the ordinary course, in the natural course, water quenches fire, isn't it? But when we pray, the reverse is the case. Fire can lick up water as he did when Elijah called upon God. This form of prayer is referred to as fire prayer. Fire prayers will ignite fire and consume forces that are standing against your peace. There comes a time in the life of a man that he prays fire prayers. Jesus speaking in Luke chapter 12 and verse 49 says, I am come to send fire on the earth. And what will I if it be already kindled? In other words, the earth is too cold. It needs your fire to get things happening correctly. The world is too cold. It needs your fire to get things working correctly. All vital praying makes a drain on a man's vitality. True intercession is a sacrifice, a bleeding sacrifice. It was Martin Luther King that said, work, work from morning until late at night. In fact, I have so much to do that I shall have to spend the first three hours in prayer. Prayer cannot be compromised. George said concerning Jesus, He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire, but the chaff will be born with fire unquenchable. Why do we need to pray fire prayers? Because snakes and vipers and evil instruments cannot hide inside fire. It's only fire 
that can bring them out. In Acts chapter 28 and verse 3, Acts 28 and verse 3, in the island of Melita, and when Paul had gathered the bundle of sticks and laid them on the fire, there came out a viper out of the heat and fastened on his hand. Fire can locate hidden powers and forces wherever they are. Therefore, you must begin to call upon the name of the Lord. If your word is too cold, you need some fire. You need some fire prayers. For he is a God, a consuming fire. He is. Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 29. For our God is a consuming fire. Understand therefore this day that the Lord thy God is he which goeth over before thee as a consuming fire. He shall destroy them, and he shall bring them down before thy face. So shalt thou drive them out. Who will drive them out? You will drive them out by your prayers. So shalt thou drive them out and destroy them quickly, as the Lord has said unto me. Deuteronomy chapter 9 and verse 3. Deuteronomy 9 and verse 3. Understand therefore this day. That the Lord thy God is he which goeth over before thee as a consuming fire. He shall destroy them and he shall bring them down before thy face. So shalt thou drive them out and destroy them quickly as the Lord has said unto me. Our God is a consuming fire. Moses also prayed, and the earth opened up her mouth. Dimensions, prevailing dimensions of prayer. Moses also prayed, and the earth opened up her mouth. Number 16, from verse 28. Korah, Datan, and Abiram spoke against the work, the, the work of the Lord and tried to humiliate and rubbish Moses and Aaron before the congregation. And Moses said, Hereby ye shall know that the Lord has sent me to do all these works, for I have not done them of mine own mind. Numbers 16 verse 28 Now we read verse 29 If these men die the common death of all men. And if they be visited after the visitation of all men, then the Lord has not sent me. See, prayer is very dangerous. Look at verse 30. But if the Lord make a new thing, and the earth open her mouth and swallow them up with all that appertained unto them, and they go down quick into the pit, then ye shall understand that these men have provoked the Lord. Verse 31, And it came to pass, as he had made the end of speaking, these words, that the ground clave asunder that was under them, and the earth opened her mouth, and swallowed them up, and their houses, and all the men that appertained unto, unto Korah, and all their goods. They and all that appertained to them went down alive into the pit, and the earth closed upon them, and they perished from among the congregation. That was an earthquake. Moses called for an earthquake. And an earthquake happened and swallowed up full houses, full families, full generations of Korah, Datan, and Abiram. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Moses prayed, called upon God, and the earth opened up his mouth and swallowed the people up. I'm not saying you should pray 
and and go and and uh, and cause the air to cliff open and swallow people up what i'm saying today is the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous man availed much the prayer of moses caused earthquake to occur and the ground opened up his mouth and swallowed up god's enemies prayer dimensions we must deploy the platform of prayer to our advantage. We must learn to deploy the platform of prayer to our advantage always. We can deploy the platform of prayer to our advantage when we lay hold even on the elements of nature. This is a dimension. For example, the elements of nature will include the earth, the soil. You see what happened? The earth opened up its mouth and swallowed them up. Your earth can be fruitful when you make a declaration on your earth. The earth is the loss and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. So everywhere you turn, you can claim favors because the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. There is nothing that was made that was not made by God on this earth. And you are the, the king's kid. Hallelujah. And, and so you can deploy the element of the earth and lay hold on it and use it to your advantage. What about the wind? Praise the Lord. Jesus spoke to the wind and the wind ceased. You can speak to the wind. Every evil wind that's blowing against you, every wind of sickness, wind of diseases, wind of disappointment, winds of, wind of disfavor, you can stop it by just your words in prayer. Luke chapter 8 and verse 24. And Jesus arose and rebuked the wind and the raging of the water. And they obeyed him. The wind will obey you in prayer. In Job chapter 1 and verse 19. Satan deploy the element of the wind against Job. See? Satan sent evil wind from the wilderness and smote the four corners of the house and killed Job's children. It means if Jesus had not commanded the storm and the sea to cease, it would have killed his disciples. You must learn to speak always. Commanding, making decrees. Thou shalt decree a thing, it shall be established unto you. In Exodus chapter 10 and verse 13, Moses prayed and an evil wind from the east, the east wind brought locust upon the land of Egypt. Dimensions. Prevailing dimensions of prayer. In Exodus chapter 10 and verse 19, the west wind took the locusts away and cast them into the Red Sea. Lade Kapoloda. I'm showing you mysteries in prayer. You can deploy the element of the wind to your advantage by sending it a message in your prayers. Ezekiel prophesied into the wind and the wind brought life unto the dry bones. <laughs> Ezekiel 37 verse 9 and 10. You can speak to the wind to your advantage. Praise the Lord. 
What about the sun? You can deploy the element of the sun to your advantage. The sun, the moon, and the stars. God brought Abraham out and said, Look and count the stars. He said, So shall your seed be. And, and so you can deploy the element of the sun, the moon, and the stars to your advantage. You can declare and decrease, My children are stars. Ever shining brighter. My seed shall be mighty in the land and many in the land. The sun gives light that rules the day. The moon rules the night. The stars light up the firmament. Psalms 121 and verse 6. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. So, see, the sun can be caused to smite a person by day and the moon can be ordered to hinder someone in the night. And so you can deploy through prayer these elements. The sun shall not smite me by day and the moon shall not hit me by night. That means evil cannot locate you day and night. The sun has the ability, if it's so instructed to smite the wicked by day, and the moon has the ability to hinder by night, if it's so instructed. Dimensions, prevailing dimensions in prayer. In Psalms 89, Psalms 89, Once have I sworn by my holiness that I will not lie unto David. 36. His seed shall endure forever, and his throne as the sun, as the sun before me. It shall be established forever as the moon and as a faithful witness in the heaven. If God uses the element of the sun and the moon, then he's showing us a perfect example of what we can do. See, God lays hold on his word. See, this is fascinating. Verse 36 says, His seed shall endure forever, and his throne shall endure forever, as the sun, the sun, the sun before me. So the sun is permanent. He said, David's seed shall endure forever. Jesus being the seed of David now endures forever. He said, it shall be established forever as a moon and as a faithful witness in heaven. So, you can declare over your destiny and over your business and over your family everything you ever desire using the elements, the sun, the moon, and the stars, using the earth, using the wind, you can declare, Father, as the sun rises up, so favor, mercy, goodness, rise up and locate my destiny today in the name of Jesus Christ. You can declare, Father, in the name of Jesus, any time the power of darkness rise up to devise my heart, let the sun rise up against them in the name of Jesus. Father, let their sun be darkened and let darkness fall upon them at unawares. Let the angels persecute them. That is Psalms 35. Let darkness come upon them at unawares. Zublaka te kalon de doba. Aruze kloko koko posa jadaba. Elatu zoklakoba. It's a true Thy word, you have made me wiser than my enemies. God is making you wiser today. Prevailing prayers. Dimensions of prevailing prayers. You can deploy these elements and begin to make decrees. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You can destroy every Every evil thought 
every evil incantations, every enchantments and divinations that have been made against you, you can disrupt them in the place of prayer. You can dislodge them in the place of prayer. Hallelujah. You are going to declare right now. Psalms 55 verse 11. Destroy, O Lord, and divide their tongues, for I have seen violence in the city. Here, there are things you can utter in the place of prayer. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Begin to give him praise right now in Jesus' precious name. As we go into prayer, begin to give God praise in the name of the Lord Jesus. Begin to give him praise. Give him praise. As to him. Exalt his name. Magnify his name. Thank you, Lord. Pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Brada Kabada Zu Seklo Kokobo. Rede Gebaroze Shotaba. 